In the motorcycle world, there is always something you want to add. There are performance improvements for the bike and pieces of gear that will make the ride more comfortable or safer. We also discovered convenience enhancements we could make to our camping trailer. Before we get into this project, I'd like you to know there are other videos in this series about our timeout trailer. The first one is about the delivery and assembly of the trailer. Here's Maybe the timeout trailer we got. Ball. It's on a uh, large pallet. They couldn't uh, roll it in. I showed the installation of the hitch and wiring. It's called a hidden hitch because when you take this out, you don't see the hitch bracket, which is hidden behind the fender. I added water and gasoline packs to the front of the trailer. To undo it, you loosen this handle a couple of times until you can turn the retaining bar, and then you can pull the pack off. There's one on installing a solar panel. So here we have the completed project with the solar panel mounted to the top of the trailer. The first enhancement comes from Be The Rider PA and is worth repeating. Be sure to check out his channel. There's a half inch hole in the support legs of the timeout trailer. You insert a half inch bar through the hole to jack up the trailer when you are leveling it. This is a half inch masonry bit that I found in my grandfather's toolbox and it works perfectly for jacking up the trailer. The next enhancement is one we discovered the hard way. When we closed up the trailer, the platform support legs couldn't land on the floor because we'd put stuff in the way. I put yellow tape in the spots where the legs land, and we know not to stack anything there when we're packing up. There you can see the leg sitting on the yellow tape. Also, the tape protects the carpet from wearing through. There are luggage straps for securing the tent in the trailer. The tighter you can secure the tent, the more space you have for storage. I wanted to add more straps, but found it tedious to fish out the ends of the straps from under the tent. I came up with this solution to my problem. I made short straps with male buckles and mounted them using the screws in the hinge. You want to mark a 7 inch piece of strap cut it and then seal the ends. I used my uh, soldering gun to seal the ends. Take the strap and run it through the buckle and then mark a half inch down from the end and I used my pencil iron to put a hole through the straps and the screws are machine screws and I used a thin washer under the head of the screw. Here are the clips attached to the frame this is the way they'll be when you're traveling or when you're using the tent. You connect the luggage straps to the buckles before lowering the tent into the bed of the trailer. Then you disconnect the straps and secure the tent. And this is the straps clipped in when you're getting ready to lower the tent and bind it up. So when you put the tent down, the uh, ends of the straps will be connected and be easy to grab them and bind up the tent. Now our tent is out being modified for the rotopacks, but that uh, works out better because you can see more clearly how this enhancement works. This enhancement has to do with these spring clips that keep the latches from coming apart when you're going down the road. We had a pop-up trailer that had these spring clips and they were attached to a lanyard but still they managed to get away and we kept spares. So I went looking on Amazon for a way to tether these spring clips and to not use a spring clip. What I found were bimini pole lanyards. Now I don't want the clip that 
goes through the bimini pole, but I want the wire, and I noticed the bracket that has a hole in it that I could use to screw it to the trailer. So I removed the bimini clip and put a carabiner through it and then screwed it onto the trailer. By the way, you'll need a square bit to deal with the trailer screws. Here's the tethered carabiner attached to the trailer. You just clip it in and you're all set to go. Thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. There's also a page on my website with affiliate links to all the items we purchased to outfit the trailer. Also, many thanks to those who have bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.